What's up everybody and welcome back to Italian Football TV. Guys, I know we saw the comments. <sighs> Everyone's been asking us, where are the transfer news videos? Where are the podcasts? The podcasts are coming back next week. Antonio and my dad have been busy. My dad's actually been working with the Serie A team and I know a lot of you guys have been writing to <laughs> us that you met him um, around New York and everywhere that they've been. And Casano's just doing a Casano. Antonio. <laughs> Antonio's just doing Antonio stuff. No, actually, it's funny. Antonio's been chasing us down. He's been texting us every day. Guys, when are we doing a podcast? Guys, when are we doing a podcast? <laughs> but we've been really busy. As you guys saw last, if you're following us on Instagram or everywhere, we interviewed Douglas Costa. Um, there's actually going to be three videos from that day. They're all getting edited real nice. Interview didn't come out the best, but I think you guys still will enjoy um, the time that we did have with him. But anyway, we are into some transfer news. And Mike, since the last time we left, things have flipped in the Serie A, okay? There's a lot of okay? interesting stuff, guys. Yo, buckle up, because we're going for a <laughs> ride right now. You I'm ready? ready. <laughs> <laughs> Iguain, Caldada, and Bonucci. The swap is on. You guys probably already know the details. If you do not, it's going to be a Caldada, Bonucci straight swap with Iguain on a loan with the option to buy. It's going to be 20 million euro loan, 35 million option to buy. Bonucci has agreed with Juventus. 5.5 million euro contract. He was making 7.5 million, 10 million with bonuses. He is reducing that almost halfway from four. Kadara has agreed to join, but there is a little bit of a hiccup with Iguain. There's still some problems with how much he's going to be getting from Juventus. Apparently, according to Sky, are not that big of a deal to fix. But I did read a little bit into Gazette tomorrow who are saying that this might become more complicated than it's expected. But either way, the only thing holding up this deal, which still looks extremely likely to go through, probably 95%, is Iguain accepting that move. I'm so scared. And I hope he same. goes. First of all, I want to say that Milan are coming away with a steal in this one. They are... Champions League contenders with this. Iguain guarantees you 15 to 20 goals. I know everybody, not everybody, a lot of Milan fans are annoyed with Iguain. I am telling you, you should be annoyed with only having Kalinic. Iguain is unbelievable. Don't yeah. let anyone tell you otherwise. He is a top player that Milan, a top striker that Milan have been missing. But it's not He's not going to take away though. from Cutrone. They can play together. Cutrone will learn from Iguain. And it's not only that, they got Caldara, they got a potential guy that's gonna, that's gonna be there for that Azzurri next to Romagnoli. That's gonna yeah. be the, the new Azzurri center back uh, duo for sure. As uh, for Juventus, I think that this is an extremely strange deal. The only rationale behind this that's is so that strange. Juventus are going straight out for the Champions League. Yeah. They got Cristiano Ronaldo for that. They wanna make sure that the defense is solid. And Bonucci's still one of the best defenders. Um, didn't have a great year at Milan. It's horrible the way that he's handled all this situation, but I guess. Juve, Allegri, Marotta, and co. are all willing to pull it aside if they could put a team together that can make this happen. Juve fans, what are you thinking? Milan fans, how happy are you? I what think you I just I just think Juve is like, oh, screw it, screw it for the future. We're, we're focusing on it now. They're putting all their eggs on one basket, and they're just like, let's go, let's go for the Champions League. Even I agree. if it's risking a prospect for the future. I don't, I'm still um, a little bit concerned on how I feel about this. On one time, I'm emotional because of you know how everything ended and how weird it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the other hand, he is a top defender. I think they could have won another option. And losing Caldada, I think losing Caldada is the worst part of the situation. If you're a UFN, you're more annoyed that Caldada is gone. But anyway, we found um, a nice solution on the internet to how to fix your Bonucci jerseys at Milan. <laughs> so it's not too bad. And fun fact, um, I never even ripped up an old Juve Bonucci jersey. I was trying to rip it, and then I ended up stopping because I was like, I'm not you even going to You started crying time. halfway through. <laughs> yeah, it was just like tears going down my eyes, so I still got it. Um, anyway, let's move on to Inter. Inter, guys, this Mercato, guys, I'm... Tip in my hat. Yo, Inter Listen. are insane. Let me, say, let me say what happened. Okay, let me say, what, say what happens. happens. Versalico arrived in Milano yesterday just to add on to the unbelievable Mercato that they're having. Just look at the difference between where their defense started last season, the first game of the season, versus this season. It's unbelievable. On top of that, Sky Italia are reporting that Vidal is a step away from joining Inter Milan. Not only a step, they went as far to say that Inter has got Vidal on the phone and they said, you could fly to Milano, and then he will fly to Milano and sign. That's how close it is. He's gone. He's gone from Bayern Munich. But Inter are holding up this deal because they're going for a dream signing. When you thought it couldn't get better. And Sky are saying that for the past few weeks, Ozilio has been working in silence, contacting Real Madrid and Luka Modric's agents 
to try and make the impossible possible. And let me say, Sky say that this is not impossible. It's a dream. It's very, very hard to happen, but Inter are trying. Dude, whatever happens, Listen. whatever. Listen. They can't, even if they can't get uh, Modric, if they get Vidal, it's Bro, just that's, amazing. Dude, the thing is, everybody. Dude, was Ronaldo like, was a dream for uh, Juve too. Yo, if they get. Oh, yo, Real Madrid so, are going to uh, say. <laughs> those says, guys are tanking next season. It says so much about the league as a whole, the Serie A, that Luka Modric, the best player in the World Cup, the best midfielder, in my opinion, in the world, is even considering. To come back to to come to Serie A says so much. Even Iguain not going to Chelsea and staying at AC Milan, or we're only playing you know Europa League. I think mm -hmm. Chelsea are probably in Europa League too. They, I know they're not in Champions League. Anyway, it says so much. This is the rebirth. Whether they sign Modric, whether they not, it's most likely that they won't. But either way, your backup is Arturo Vidal. Guys, Arturo Vidal. Oh, win, win, it's boys. A win -win. It's a win-win. Yeah, it's amazing. Guys, I, I know amazing. people. I, I saw some of the comments of um, some you know, fans of other teams who are upset that Modric might be coming. Guys, just like we said with Ronaldo, you don't have to be an Inter fan. You don't have to be a Juve fan. These guys attract champions. It helps out the league as a whole. Juventus signed Ronaldo. So what does it say to Inter? Oh, we got to step it up. Why not try to get Modric? Why, Milan, we got to get Iguain. We got to do this. The league, the competition is better. Serie A, to me, this summer, jumped up already. Bundesliga and La Liga just in the transfers. But we still got some more news. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Let us know what you think. De Laurentiis, owner of Napoli. He was rumored yesterday to be buying body. Today, he officially saved them. They went bankrupt. Um, we all know what happened with that situation. And apparently, guys like to say that he wanted to have a nice relationship with another Southern team. There is an issue that could arise, as I've been reading, that you can't really have two Serie A teams. It, you, an owner can't own two Serie A teams. Don't fact check me on this, um, but this is what I've heard. So in case that body does mm. come to Serie A, maybe by that time they'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't know all the legalities of it, but I'm just throwing that out there. You can turn them into Napoli B over there and start switching players. Maybe. That's the thing. Some some body fans don't like that. But at the end of the day, they got saved, which is That's the most true. important thing. Milinkovic Savic is staying at Lazio. According to himself, he arrived at Lazio's training after missing the earlier flight the day before. 150 million is the thing that's keeping him back. Gazette to say that Chelsea's interested, Man United's interested, but nobody is entertaining 150 million, and that's what Lotito is requiring. So um, hopefully he does stay. Lazio also concluded, also concluded, also finalized the deals for Badel and Correa, who is actually a nice youngster. He's still 23, 24 years old, coming from Spain, coming from Sevilla, and I think he'll be interesting to watch. And that's really it. Serie A, guys, he's getting back. Happy birthday to Antonio Conte, 49 years old. And I know Michael's got some updates Jeez. and things to say to everybody out there. So what? What wow. you got to tell us? Just a crazy day, first of all. Uh, we, we got a bunch of things. First, first we announced the De Rossi shirt winner, the sign De Rossi shirt. The guy's name is John, and he lives all the way John. in Dallas, Texas. Oh, wow. All the way in the south. Congrats, John. He is was, he a Roma fan? Yeah, he's a oh, huge okay, Roma exactly. fan, and he was going crazy and stuff. That's and, great. You know. John, make sure you send us a video. So yes. Go uh, the next thing is we actually have um, some hats on our site. Yeah. So a lot of people have been saying get stuff, other, uh, get other stuff other than shirts. I think we got an Inter hat, right? We have Inter, Napoli, Napoli. and Roma. Very limited. Yeah. Like some of them only have two or three. These are our first pieces of merchandise ever put out. The only reason we put them out is because we got a few DMs mm -hmm. from some original followers who said if we had any left, and those are the only ones. The Rome, the Juve and Milan ones are already sold out. But if you want one, you could grab one. And the last one, these. our biggest order ever on our merch comes from Kuwait, sick. all the way from my boy Abdul Latif. We've been talking to him. He's a huge fan. He ordered before, and then he made a huge 14, 14 shirt by Marco. This thing was huge. Guys, we package. don't say this to brag. But just remember, we're just two kids who started in a freaking garage, uh, yeah. had an idea that everybody told us was the stupidest thing that we could do. You'll never succeed. And it's just really cool. So thank you for the support. Um, what was his name? Abdul Latif. Abdul. So thank you He's so much. He's a Juve fan too. He has a Jeep. Yeah, he threw a, threw a nice IFTV sticker oh, on yeah, it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was sick. No, but yo, Legend. listen. Things just get cooler and cooler. Sorry, guys. Our time has been crazy busy. That's why so many videos on YouTube have not been coming out. But insane stuff is on the rise for IFTV. So thank you for supporting. Subscribe if you are new to our channel and like this video and make sure comment down below. Guys, the reason IFTV is special, this is our community. The Serie Hour is rising. Everyone who's been with us the past three years that we've been doing this, now is the point where we're on that hill. We're right here. We're about to go over. I think we're about to go over very Do soon. Do the Serie Hour is going to blow. That's what I think. Guys, comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao guys.
someone else is in the studio. <laughs> okay, where's my 